Do you guys see that video of Aaron Donald taking a guy's helmet off and smashing someone over the head with it? I don't give a shit if it's in controlled scrimmages, if it's in a locker room, or if it's anywhere. That's uncalled for behavior. Welcome back. National Football Show with your boy, Big Sills. Please hit the like button. Thank you guys so much for coming aboard. We had a... Um, Family emergency with Lord Brunson, LB. So welcome aboard with us here. We appreciate everybody stepping in. Do you guys see that video of Aaron Donald taking a guy's helmet off and smashing someone over the head with it? I don't give a shit if it's in controlled scrimmages, if it's in a locker room, or if it's anywhere. That's uncalled for behavior. Okay? It's one thing to lose your shit in a practice. And who in their right mind thought that that was a smart thing to do? Put the Rams and Bengals together where they just faced each other eight months ago. Who thought that was smart? You know the Bengals are going to have an ass with them guys. They were a quarter away from winning that ball game. How about the old line knowing that they gave up that game? They were winning it. The Bengals were winning and they let that thing slip through their hands. But you thought that was a good thing to do in a training camp environment. I'm not, I mean, the whole thing was dumb. So you have these controlled scrimmages or whatever the hell they're calling. Like Cam Hayward even says, they're useless. They're just fistfights. There you have it. Aaron Donald should be suspended. Taking a helmet off? Why? Miles Garrett was. You hit somebody in the head with a helmet, you could kill them. Especially a guy like him. The guy benches 550. You hit someone upside their skull, you could kill somebody. That is uncalled for. And it's hero ball. And it's all that other shit. It's like I'm the, you, someone should, you know what the Bengals should have did? They should have attacked him. They should have fucked that guy up. That's what I would have done. I would have got five of my guys, jumped him, and we would have went on him like you thought Sonny was at the bar with those biker guys when it was in Brock's tail. I would have put the boot to that guy. Don't do that to my guys. Take a helmet off and start swinging it. I'm going to put the boot on you. Now you can't leave is what I would have did. Bro, what's up with that? That's unprofessional. I get, man, things get heated and such. You got to know a little bit here, man. Everybody's fighting for a job right now. It's not about you, Aaron. Really dumb move. Lost respect for the guy for that with that move. Miles Garrett got a shit loaded. Did he miss the rest of the year after that? Didn't he? Didn't he get like a? He got a massive suspension. I thought he, I thought he missed a ton of games, man. Six games, no pay. I mean, that's a lot. Six games, and he did that in a game where all the. Cameras were on him. Again, you know, dude, I wouldn't have cared if he threw hands. I wouldn't have cared if they were in a wrestling match. You start picking up devices and helmets and sticks and shit. Well, you now you want to up the level? Okay. Well, be prepared. I'm telling you, man. First thing I thought of was I would have jumped him with five guys and we would have put the boots on him. You bet, man. I would have made him remember that he pulled the helmet off my teammate and he swung that. I'd have broke his arm. I'm not, I'm, I would have done everything I could to hurt that guy because you were trying to hurt one of my guys. That's the mentality, man. When you're trying to fight for one of those 53 seats, I'm sorry some of you may not like it, but that's reality. There's very few chairs that are open. Well, unless they're in Philly and they're Jalen Ragers and Derek Barnett's, they got free hall passes for whatever reason. But most places, those chairs are sacred. And you got a guy trying to, guy's trying to fight for a job and he's swinging a helmet at him. Because why? He blocked him? Grow up, guy. Yeah, hey, big picking. He brought up the street rules. You know, it was normal just pushing and shoving. You want to put it in the street? I can clearly go there. I have. You don't know who I am or what I've done or what how I grew up. 
Okay? You want to bring it in the street? I'll show you how to bring it in the street. Barrett's that same guy, too. I've heard him talk. You want to go there? I am very capable and equipped to go there. Okay? Some of you have no idea what Bensonhurst or Howard Beach and all them other places are. I'll show you streets. You want to push and shove? Okay. I'll keep it there. You want to start picking helmets up? I'll go there, too. Guy could have killed somebody there, man. Okay. Well, Jay, hey, Aaron Donald would kill you with his hands. Okay, well, you know, back in the day, I probably would have tested that theory years out. There's a reason Big Seals back in the day was 157 and 0. It wasn't because I was great looking. <laughs> uh Hey, Kayvon, Brooklyn, baby. <laughs> hey, hey, man. <laughs> That's right. See what Xander says? Hey, I'm going out swinging. It's a lifestyle, bitch. You're damn right, man. Hey, man. He took it, he took it into the streets there. I was very stunned and very shocked that he did that. But again, too, you look at the you 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 look at the NFL and you're like, why? Why would you put the Bengals and Rams together the final week of the exhibition season? Oh, uh, you got what you wanted, man. Hey, William, again, I'm not going to take it, but if you want to go there, I'm capable of going there. Okay? I'm going down swinging Joseph too, same thing. Hey, again, I'm not trying to play Henry Hardass here or something, but I think all of you know what I'm talking about. Okay? Hey, somebody wants to push and shove with you. You know, sometimes that shit gets out of hand. Somebody says something dumb. You're not going to throw hands. Well, God throws hands. we got a different world talking about here, right? It's a whole different level. Guy wants to pick a bat up. We're talking a whole different level too. Okay? <laughs> right? And that's kind of what happened there. And like, Aaron Donald was so like oblivious to that. Okay, I wonder, man, you ever been in a fight? Because when you pick a helmet up, somebody might pick a gun up next. Because, you know, some people don't have that mentality where, oh, you know, it's just, it's all cool. These are all dudes, man. Some of these guys that would go dark on you. I, I, I tell you, I'll give you guys, I'll give you, I told you this, I'm in the Lions camp. And I saw Lawrence Pete pull a face mask off a guy's helmet. And you know how it's bolted in? This guy started pushing him, and Lawrence Pete didn't like it. And Lawrence didn't really, you know, he wasn't one of them guys where he was a shit talker like me in a big mouth. This guy punched this guy in the chest. Lawrence did. He punched him in the chest. He grabbed that face mask, and he pulled that thing off his helmet. One of the greatest feats of strength I've ever seen. I was like, that guy just went like this after that mask went off. And I said, good move, kid. <laughs> I was like, wow. I had never seen anything like it. You know, those things are screwed on with them big bolts. He pulled that mask off his helmet. I looked over at Lawrence. I went, you know, I'm considered one of the strongest guys in the NFL. That's one of the greatest feats of strength I've ever seen. Hey, man. I was like, holy, I've seen some great fights. Been involved in some great fights. We fought Brian Bosworth at the Orange Bowl. Guy starts talking shit to us. Jerome and I jumped him, put the boots to him. Look at it on film. At the end of the game, there's me and Jerome putting boots on um, Brian Bosworth because he was talking shit on us before the game. We not only beat him, but we put boots to him. Keith Jackson, too, your very own tight end that you guys love and I became friends with, we put the boots on him too. Oh, you want to talk shit about us? You you, you have no idea who you're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Jerome, man, he fought everyone. How do you think that gang green team had that attitude? How do you, how do you think that gang Jerome brought that in, dude? Okay, he brought that into your building. He brought that into your city. Yeah, man.